YouTube today. We're at the Capitol Flea Market here in San Jose. We're gonna go in and see what we can find. Las botas. 50. 20 for this. Hey, 15, no me lo dejaste? So you can put your points in it. Vale, va. Muchas gracias. ¿En cuánto están estos? ¿A 10? Sí. Pase, pase, pase. Ahí te la guardo, amigo, ok. El tipo es go. Pase, pase, me quiere. A Turkey Black Copa. Ahí está, tío. ¿Cuánto va a ser aquí? Padre. Dame 23 por todo, ¿ok? Dame 20 que es todo. ¿20 está bien? Ok. 20 bucks. Good deal.
¿En cuánto está este? Ese está con la caja aquella, mira. Eso dale a. ¿Qué te parece, tío? Todo es los dos. Cuéntalos. Ahí está, gracias, eh. Ajá, los ¿Quieres una bolsita? Así, mero. Sí. ¿En cuánto está esta? YouTube, we're back from the flea market. Got there pretty late, and camera died about halfway through. So some of the stuff I didn't catch. It was real slow. Everyone was already packing up. I uh, was still able to find a few things. Still gonna make some good profit. I'm just gonna break down what I paid and then show you guys what we can potentially make. I know, like I said, the video cut off, so let me just jump right into it. First up was this uh, Lincoln Electric Foos Edition welding helmet. This. I paid $15 for, he was asking 20, it does work. It's a little beat up, but they are selling, this exact same model is selling for around 250 bucks used in better condition. I'm gonna clean this one up and uh, maybe list this one for about 150. So welding helmets, always gotta look out for those. I've sold those in the past before, so definitely gotta look out for the Lincoln ones. Next up was this little bundle here of uh, one, two, three, four pieces. I paid 20 bucks for all four. This thing here is selling for about 30 bucks constantly though it's selling it's a fast seller so 30 bucks there controller here i may bundle up with a ps2 or um you know just sell it as is this one should bring around 30 bucks i believe this xbox one this is for original xbox this is a halo edition this one sells for anywhere from 40 to like a hundred dollars i'm seeing so this one definitely is a good one here to look out for. Next was this Texas Instruments. It's some type of data cable. Just sold one of these like two months ago for like 25 bucks. So, you know, like I said, I paid 20 for all four things here. We have some good potential profit to make there. Next up was this OEM radio. Another thing that you guys gotta watch out for, OEM radios. I love selling these. These sell for pretty good money. Some of them are worth a lot of money. This one here, I paid 10 bucks and it came with the, uh, I don't, I'm not too sure what this unit is. Maybe to run you know the stereo pay 10 bucks for the two this unit there's actually none sold but there's a few listed for like 60 bucks these are listed for about 25 bucks with sold comps so i'm just gonna double check that it's the correct unit to this interface here and then i'll list maybe the whole bundle for like 50 or 60 you know just to try to get mine to sell quick next up is this game source ps-612 gun uh, it's for like a PlayStation. I paid four bucks for that thing. I couldn't really find no sold comps, but I did uh, Google it and I see there's some sold overseas for about 20 euros. So, you know, I just figured for four bucks, I should be able to get around 30 bucks for that thing. So good little find there. Seems to be kind of rare. Next up were these three pieces here. I paid three bucks for all three. A Game Boy bag should bring around maybe like 20 bucks. Remote, 20 bucks as well. And then this here. I don't have a charger for it. If I could find a charger for it, I'll test it out if it works. These actually sell for around 70 to 80 bucks. I've sold these in the past. So for a buck, I had to take the risk. If not, if I can't find a charger, I'll just sell it as is and um, still ask maybe like 20 bucks, you know, for parts or whatever. So for three bucks, you know, good little flip there. And last but not least was this bundle here of one, two, three, four, five pieces. I actually paid $90 for all five things here these remote controls i've sold in the past so when i seen them i instantly knew what they were you know these are worth some good money so also keep your eye out for these these are for uh, like helicopters i believe like rc helicopters or rc airplanes you know those type of things but they're expensive this one here uh, i believe is going for like maybe like 80 bucks uh, i'm not sure if it works uh probably gonna throw some batteries in there and test it out this one's selling for anywhere from like 120 to like 180 and this one here i couldn't find the exact same one there's another one, model similar it's a dx 6i this is a dx 6 so this one should bring maybe like 50 to 60 but anyway overall just on these i should be able to get around 200 for the three this merlin electronic wizard game this thing it's a weird one it's uh, one of those ones that are all over the place so i see them selling for anywhere from 20 to like 80 bucks this one's complete in the box the box is a little beat up it does have the manual it's in pretty good condition a little bit of corrosion inside the battery compartment i'm gonna clean it up and test it out i'm gonna list this one maybe for like 40 or 50 bucks see how that goes last was this uh game boy like I've mentioned before, I always like to pick these up when they're a pretty good price. I do mod them. I just like to keep them in stock because you know, they're not easy to come by anymore. So 
I'll just keep that. And when I do get time, I'll mod those up. So yeah, that's all we found today. I spent 142 bucks on all this stuff. And I think just on the helmet, I'm gonna get that back. Everything else is gonna be profit, can't go wrong. You know, for a quick pickup, that's not bad. So yeah, pretty short video today. I'm gonna have a few more coming soon and stay tuned. Peace.